To track inventory, you set up items to represent the things you sell so QuickBooks can track the values and quantities behind the scenes. QuickBooks can help you figure out when it's time to reorder so you'll have them on hand ready for your customers. Other videos cover tracking inventory in more detail. Here you are just creating an inventory part item. So start by clicking Items and Services on the home page. From the item menu, click New and click Inventory Part as the type. In this field, type a unique identifier for the item. This landscaping business purchases and keeps garden lights on hand. They track them in inventory so they won't run out. So I'll type Wall Light. If you purchase the item from a vendor and they have a part number, you could enter it here. And this just makes it clearer on a purchase order. I mean, they'll know exactly what you're ordering. So I'll type, so click in the description field and type the description of the item. And this will appear on your purchase order to the vendor. Gray wall wash light. Click in the cost field and type the cost of the item. I'll enter $15.99. You could leave the cost blank and fill it in on the purchase order. The next field is where you choose the COGS account. And this company has only one COGS account, and so that's what we'll choose. But if you had sub accounts, you could choose them here. And this company also has a preferred vendor for this item, which is the Two Valley Garden Supply. Now for the sales information QuickBooks copies what you typed in the purchase description, and I think I'll just leave it like that for the customer. And this is what the customer will see and click in the sales price field to enter the price you sell the item to your customer for $29.99 and from the tax code menu choose whether or not the item is taxable and it's taxable so I'll click tax and then select the income account to track the income when you sell this item and I'll choose job materials lighting supplies so here is where you select the inventory asset account to track the current value of all your inventory items. And it's already pre-selected for you. The reorder point field is where you type the minimum number that you want to keep in stock. And for this item, let's type 160. QuickBooks will add a reminder to the reminders list to order more when the on-hand quantity gets lower than this amount. If you already had some of this item on hand, you could enter it here. And if you knew the total value of what you have on hand, you could enter it in this field. But this company doesn't have any on hand, and so I will leave the rest of these items blank and just click OK to save the item. And then close the item list.